who said history with the nomadic veteran wasn't fun. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this video. Um, the nomadic veteran, off camera, Cookie Hooch, and the gorgeous Mrs. Gibber or Caroline, it's up to you. Uh, right, we are in a place called Antalya. We weren't supposed to stay in here. Uh, we were transiting through because for those who have asked, and some of you have asked, where are you going? Uh, and I know I've reached out to a few people who are in different countries and said, what's the gen? We've made our mind up. But I'm not gonna tell you right now, otherwise you'd probably just turn the video off and you wouldn't be interested in knowing where we're going. So, uh, are we going east or are we going west? Who knows? Um, so, we'll explain more. Basically, get back to the original story, we were tra transiting through Antalya, Antalya um, and our brakes of making a torrid noise. Um, like really bad grinding, so we, we stopped in for the night uh, and we're gonna go try and find a garage to get that sorted. So I'm not sure if you can hear this breaking now, but listen to this. That's not nice, no. So, we are just waiting now. They are doing whatever they're doing. No one's actually told us what they're doing. It's obviously something to do with the brakes, because, yeah. Uh, they just they just cracked on, which was awesome. They obviously heard it when I came in, and I was braking, and they, I think everyone was like, whoa. Um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be relatively cheap because we're in Turkey. That's, that's the hope. Um, but either way, it is what it is. It needs to be done. Because Gibbo was getting a bit worried. She was like, Russ, that can't be good. So, yeah. Gibbo and the boys are just chilling in the back. I'm sitting outside. Thinking of what we're doing for the rest of the day. Driving, probably. But anyway. I've got my trusty coffee, though. morning everybody uh, right update for you we have been driving what feels like forever uh, we um, oh I'll get into it later anyway we're in a place right now called El Bastan that's exactly how you pronounce that uh, and I, what I wanted to show you real quick was not all park ups are equal so you know in Turkey we've had it really good with park ups uh, like really good this one however isn't really it's, it's like a one out of ten uh so you'll see the van and we're literally just in a car park not the end of the world we actually slept ridiculously well here but it was just a little show that some you're not always going to get the beach park ups the mountains park ups sometimes you're just going to get a big old car park in the middle of a turkish city where you get some strange looks from everyone, because you're vlogging. Anyway, <laughs> let's get driving. Oh, where's the gun? There it is. Yes. Um, right. After what seems like <laughs> just non stop driving today, thrown in with a bit of food shopping, thrown in with uh, getting the rear brake pads done, which was a, an epic uh, just because a garage we went to was trying to potentially rip us off, maybe take advantage that we're tourists. Went to another one, they sent us another place, which is an epic to find. However, it was worth it in the end because we got them done for the rear brake pads and labor, 15 quid, which makes me believe that getting the front 
brake pads done earlier on in the week for 55 quid, we got totally ripped off. Is, is any of that a good price compared to UK? I just don't know. We've, don't think I've ever had to get brake pads done in the UK. Anyway, we've made it to a place called uh, Mount uh, Nemrut, I think. Um, we're pretty close to the summit. You can drive pretty much all the way, near enough all the way to the top to see some statues and that, which we really wanted to see. We're currently about 1,900 meters elevation. Gibbo's getting a scran on. Come on, I'm knackered from driving today. Uh, so I'll sleep well today. But anyway, let me show you the view. That was a weird way of turning you around, but anyway. <laughs> it's glorious. And they've even got like a little restaurant up here. Uh, a bit of scran. All in all, pretty wild bats. Um, we are hoping to go up there for sunrise. Smally confession to make, although you can probably tell, uh, we didn't quite make the sunrise. Uh, <laughs> no excuses, really. We were having a great sleep. Uh, I actually got up to watch some MMA. Yeah. But anyway, it turned out to be in our favour because where we've parked, which is just about two, three hundred metres below where the sort of like the feature is where we're going, is uh, there's a gate. I don't know whether it's, whether it's because it's today or whatnot, but it's closed, which means essentially we've got the whole place to ourselves. So it's like we've booked this mountain just for the four of us. It's awesome. It's good. We'll be up there in a minute. We made it after a quick coffee stop. Um, I'm not sure if I've said it, we're basically, we're at a place called Mount Nemrut. Uh, and it's famous because there was, I think this is like a, an ancient tombstone. Tomb. Tomb. Tombstone, tomb. Uh, it's not a Western. Um, and there were statues up here and there was like lions and eagles and stuff. But then due to, and again, I've Googled this, so I'm not some type of uh, historian. Uh, clearly, um, but the hello, you're quite fatigued, aren't you? Um, due to earthquakes and vandalism by, I don't know, marauding enemies, maybe, or something? Marauding? I just had to use that word. Yeah, I've been reading. Um, the heads have all come off. And then what you can see behind me there, not my wife, but that mountain there, the summit, that, you'll probably be able to tell, but that's a, that's a, artificial summit is that the best way to describe it so yeah they built, he built it they built that uh because and one of the reasons i can't remember the dude who got buried here but he wanted to basically be buried amongst the gods in the sky and that i must imagine is just where they dug out stuff and they were like we ain't carrying it down there let's make a little mound um but anyway enough talking from me let's go look at these heads we've got the lion can you see that there how awesome is that and then we've got the eagle. Hey. <laughs> That's an interesting little fish today. There's no water. <laughs> and then we've got uh, obviously the dude, which uh, wanted to be buried up here, King Anchoas Hoochie out. So that's his statue. We go down the lines here. Oh, that's a good one. Zeus. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, because obviously we can't cross the, cross the barrier. But the eagle feet, if I can zoom in on this, so the eagle's head would have come off that statue there. You can see the claws of the eagle. And then next to it would have been the lion's head on there. Kind of like some paws, I guess. And that just continues. 
across the way. Who said history with the nomadic veteran wasn't fun? Not me. <laughs> First off, we've just come from the Western Terrace, which was pretty spectacular. Uh, and you can just mince round to the Eastern Terrace. If you thought the Western side was good, hold on to your hats, because this side is mentally awesome. It's way better. I don't know why we didn't come here first. Uh, look at this. Look at that. They're in so much better sort of nick, I guess. Just amazing. No, this side's way better, Gibbo. Look at those that the, the, where the, the And then if that wasn't awesome enough, come check out the view, man. So we're about just under 2,200 meters high. Oh, look at this. Look, Gucci. Absolutely immense. You just can't take the boys anywhere. Like, this is th thousands of years old, and Cookie's like, yeah. That is us going back down to get some breakfast. Um, now, for any of you keen beans, which when I said we're at Mount Nemra, quickly had a look where Mount Nemra is, you would be like, okay, that's quite far over on the eastern side of Turkey. And that probably gives you an idea of which way we're going. We've decided to head. Gibbo? Yeah, can they guess in the comments below? <laughs> oh, I was gonna tell you, uh, but I like that. Um, obviously, there's probably a few not a great amount of places we could go, but that's a great idea, Gibbo. Um, we actually had someone sign up to Patreon, uh, and as per the Patreon sort of like membership things, they get a shout out. So, Rob P, thank you very much for being the very first Patreon. Uh, anyone else who'd like to sign up, that would be awesome. You get loads of cool stuff like uh, almost daily one minute vlogs. Yeah, almost. I say almost. It's not every day. Uh, it's almost, but you get one minute vlogs. You get, uh, what else do you get, Gibbo? You get exclusive videos. Uh, you even get a discount at Greenbrae Coffee Co. What more do you want? Anyway, enough of that. I hate being salesy and silly. Um, instead, I'll just ask you to like this video, subscribe to their channel, um, and um, yeah, like we said before, comment if you, Hoochie, we're not going that way, mate. Uh, and he's, he loves grasshoppers. Uh, he was off his tits yesterday after he ate something. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Um, and comment if you would like to hazard a guess to where we're going. But until the next video. Is that a good place to be lying down, Hoochie, is it? <laughs> hey. <laughs> is that appropriate, mate?